Hi guys, how are you? My name is Jude. I'm here to talk about being fat in Houston. So I'm very new to Houston. I moved here like about four or five months ago, maybe four months at the most. Um, and you know, I know that it's a pandemic, but let's talk about looking for work during a pandemic plus being fat. Okay. So I moved here from Minnesota and I'm like in the service industry. So I serve, you know, I can bartend, bar back, literally all of that stuff. So of course that's what I applied for because that's what I know how to do. Okay. So I applied for so many bars, so many restaurants, just so much, so many everything. And literally my response was the same thing. Story time. So I went to this, I'm not going to say any clubs names because yeah, we're just, we're just not going to, I'm not going to say no, no clubs names. So basically I went to this one bar, applied, went through the interview, did all this stuff. And this guy was like, I'm just going to let you know, you're not what we're looking for. And I was just like, hmm, okay, maybe, maybe I'm just not what they're looking for. Okay, that's fine. That was the first place. So Couple days later, I put an application online for this one job as to be another server. Um, I put out this application online to be a server and um, they call me and hey, we love your resume. We feel like you will be a good fit, come in for an interview. Okay, cool. So I go in for the interview. Um, yeah, so I go in for the interview. We're sitting there talking, 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 talking. And then before we even get like done with the interview, the lady was like, I just wanna let you know, you're just not what we're looking for at the moment, okay? So, I mean, I'm not thinking, like, it's because of my weight or anything at this point. I'm just thinking, like, okay, maybe I'm just not what fits in with them. Fast forward, fast forward. I done went on, like, 20, 20 interviews to be a server, bartender, all that. And every time I go on an interview, I literally hear the same thing. You're not what we're looking for. So, what are you looking for? So, this last interview I went on, I was like, well, what are you looking for? And they're like, we're looking for someone a little bit more slimmer. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for that. But, you know, at least you're being honest, but you're not hiring me because i'm fat basically and then he was like no we're not saying that we're just saying we're looking for someone more slimmer okay so you're hot you're not hiring me because i'm fat period that's what it is okay that's cool anyone that knows me i've been big my whole entire life so like i'm a very confident big girl baby what is it very confident um so being turned down it really doesn't bother me like it is what it is because i know at the end of the day i'm a good worker i do my job and any company would love to have me working at their company then. So I had another interview, I think like two or three days ago, where I went in to like just be a server like at this bar. Um, like I said, I'm not going to say any of the bar's names. Um, so anyways, I had a interview to be a server at this bar. So mind you, I think it was like, I don't know if it was a casting call or I don't know what it was, but basically I came there too and there was nobody else there. I was the only one there me the only person so i'm like okay well cool the chances are that i make it hard since i'm the only person here when people should have been there around a certain time okay whatever so i walk in and it's like three people sitting down and i'm just like oh hi and they're like hey and i'm like oh i'm here for an interview like am i too early and so they kind of just like look like just gave me like a weird look and they're like no we can help you out but it wasn't any like urgency to help me out it was just kind of like you know what I'm saying? So anyways, I was just like, okay, Jude, whatever. Don't let that discourage you. Just apply for your, this job and just do the best that you can do, basically. So um, I get the papers. I start filling the papers out. I'm finally done with the papers. And I'm just like, okay, here's my, um, here's basically just my application because that's what it was. Um, So I give them my application. She's like, okay, you can just sit over here. So we're just sitting over here. We're talking about my job history. We're talking about all this stuff. And then she tells me about like the job qualifications and like all this stuff. And so I'm just like, okay, cool, yeah, okay, cool, whatever, tells me the job qualifications. I'm like, yep, I can do that, I can do that, I can do that. So then it got down to, which I guess some bars here, you wear leotards, you wear bodysuits, you wear, I don't know, you wear certain things. And so she was like, well, what size do you normally wear? And I was like, well, extra large or XXL, kind of depends on what you can get in, kind of depends on the material. And she kind of like had to smirk. And then on me, I was like, I'm confused at why you're smoking. I'm smirking while I was thinking in my head. So I'm just like, okay jude come down get a new job don't say nothing just just let it go so anyways i was just like yep that's my size and so whatever she was like well are you comfortable with wearing a costume and i was like yeah i am and she was like well would it be the same size and i was like yep extra large xxl basically um no extra large xxl yeah i said that right so anyways she has said one other thing and like there was another lady there she, she had said another thing and she ended up looking at the other lady and her and the lady started laughing and so now i'm thinking like okay like once again i'm not getting hired because of my size at this point because like the whole interview went well i think 
But then when it got down to my size, you literally smirk and you laugh in my face about what size I am. So I, once again, I said, Jude, you're probably overreacting. You normally overreact, you're overreacting. Don't, don't do this, okay, don't. So I had just so depressed, so down, like just so depressed. And if anyone knows me, they know that I'm, I'm happy, I'm party, I'm turn up, blah, 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 blah. That's what I am. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna post this on Instagram because you guys should follow me on Instagram, it's Jude.Denise. I'll actually um, put it in the bio, but in the description box, sorry. But anyways, so I was like, let me just go on my Instagram and post this on my Instagram because this is just, I wonder if this happened to anybody else. And when I tell you, I literally, I got a reaction that I was not aware, I was not ready for it. So I had like 40 people message me saying, oh, I went to the same thing. Oh, I applied to be a bartender that said you have to have a bigger ad, but sorry. Oh, they said they only want light skins working here. Like literally, it's just so much crazy shit. Now I'm thinking that it's just me because of my weight. It's not. You have to have a big ass. You have to be light skinned. You have to have all these qualifications to work in a fucking service industry. Like, I just, sorry for cussing. I just don't understand. It's not based on how hard you work, your experience. It's not based on nothing. It's based on what you look like, which is very fucked up. Because at the end of the day, I'm the one that don't have a job. So, like, I just think, I think it's very messed up. But so, like, it was just crazy the response that I got. And I was just like, okay, so everybody's going through this, but nobody's talking about it. So I'm about to talk about it then. I mean, a couple of my friends gave me the idea to talk about it, but I've been wanting to talk about fat phobia in general, because that's what it is. You don't want to hire me because I'm fat. You don't want to hire me because I'm fat. The end. Okay. So now that we got the job part out of the way, um, sorry, I have like a little list down here. Um, let's talk about the clubs. Let's talk about going out to the clubs being fat. So me... I love my body in and out. Like I'm so confident, like I love my body. So I'm gonna wear whatever I wanna wear. Titties out, butt out, all that, doing it. Cause that's just me. So it's just so weird, like going to the club and like most of all my friends are skinny, which that's not an issue, like I don't care, but I'm the big friend and that's fine. Cause I'm fire ass big friend, period. So um, going to the club, it's just kind of weird sometimes because it's just like everybody staring at you because you're wearing the clothes that they're wearing. Or also, sometimes you're even wearing better clothes than them and they're just staring at you. And I'm just like, okay, what are you staring at? Because I look fire, baby. Thank you. Thanks for staring. But like, you can at least say you look cute and then keep it moving. But no, the girls here, they literally will fucking stare you down. Like, if I see a pretty girl, I'm gonna be like, girl, you're so pretty. You're fire, blase, blase, blase. Not here. They literally stare you down because you're pretty. Or maybe because I'm pretty and fat. Either way, I don't know what it is, but it's just crazy. So like, going when, in Minnesota when I went out, I knew everybody basically so like I never had to worry about waiting in line or I never it was just kind of like basically I knew everybody so I never had to like deal with what I'm dealing with now so it's just like you know, when I came here clearly I started all over and that's fine but it's just like the way that you get treated like at the club is just weird most of the times I go to the club with my friends and we're all we always get in somebody else's section which is not due to me clearly because is due to my friends so we get there and nine times out of ten my friends always have a seat to sit down at, and i'm the only one the big fat girl standing up in heels the whole entire night every it never fails every time every time we go to a club we're in somebody's section they always have a seat but the big fat girl is standing in heels just standing up like this and then they wonder why i don't want to wear heels to the club well why would i because i'm going to be standing up the whole entire night yes and my feet are gonna be hurting where your feet are secure because you're sitting down and i'm standing up okay so we're gonna skip past the clubs part and we're kind of gonna go into friends so like i like i said i am the big friend i am the fat friend i have a lot of friends and my friends don't necessarily treat me different like they don't think but some of the stuff that they say is kind of like off-putting as in like for example we yeah just some of the stuff that my friends say they just it just be off-putting like i just think that they don't really take into consideration that i am a fat girl because like sometimes some of the stuff that they say is very uh very much problematic for fat people like damn her body looks like this 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 okay <laughs> this is what my body looks like but then they always say oh well your shape you have a nice shape to be a girl big girl it doesn't matter my body isn't perfect. Like how y'all always talk about these people. So if you're talking about this person, of course, I feel like you're going to be talking about me regardless if I'm a friend or not because I'm not shaped like how you want that person to be. Period. 
Okay, so then we're gonna talk about dating. Like, I don't have an issue with dating. I never had an issue with dating. It don't matter where I live. I never had an issue with dating because I don't date. <laughs> I don't like dating. Just guys, Just it just doesn't, it's just not for me. But since I've been here, like when I tell you I get so much attention, it's crazy. Like, I get so much attention here. And sometimes it's kind of like weird because I feel like some of my friends are not used to me getting attention. And so when I do get attention, I don't want to say they're kind of jealous, but they kind of feel a certain way. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I'm happy that I get attention, but also I'm not happy because I don't want to like make nobody feel a type of way. But it's just funny because like you get attention all the time. So when the fat girl gets attention, it's a problem. I don't know. I'm confused. But anyways, so this is just my first segment on the topic of being fat in general. So I think I just wanted to start here so you guys can kind of like get a rough draft of um, who I am and what I've been going through this past couple months. And I do want to bring you guys some more videos. I'm kind of trying to decide what I want to do. I kind of want to do some fashion hauls, some makeup tutorials, all that stuff. But I do want my page to be around the topic of being fat plus size curvy no, i don't want to say curvy because not every plus size person is curvy you know what i'm saying but i just want to make body positivity a thing everybody has a body and everybody's body can look good your body is based on you if you think you look good you look good baby you can't let nobody tell you that you don't look good the end I feel like I look fire. I'm fire. And I just, I can't wait for everybody to start doing that. But it's going to have to start with people doing this fat shaming. Let people be fat. Let them be fat and beast. What does them being fat have to do with you? Nothing. Goodbye.